Hello everybody, it's KB here today to make another YouTube video and in today's video I am going to be introducing you guys to all of my pets. Yes, all of them. So guys, I have been wanting to film this video for quite some time but have never seemed to have the time or the consistency to do it. But at this point, I would say I'm definitely at like my max for animals slash don't really want anymore and this is like where I'm at right now and everybody I have, I know is gonna be staying with me. <laughs> so in total, I have about 19 animals, might have miscounted, but that includes everybody in the family. If you don't see somebody in this video, that means either they have been rehomed or they have passed. Or so guys, we're gonna jump right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. So guys, we are going to start with the guinea pigs and I have my first one down here. But one thing I did want to say is I have owned guinea pigs since the fourth grade. I have now graduated. So I've owned guinea pigs for a very long time. And I currently have a herd of five females, all intact, not spayed. Uh, and I'm gonna introduce you guys to some of them. The first girl I'm introducing you guys to is the girl I've had the longest since she was a little baby. Alrighty then guys, so this is my little Olive, or Olivia. Olivia is my <laughs> two-year-old <laughs> female and I got her in January of 2019 she is definitely like my baby like the baby of the family even though she's not the baby anymore um, she's a biter she really likes to bite it she's always been that way ever since she was a little tiny thing I got her from Petco in case you guys are curious and I just think she is beautiful I got her because of her beautiful um, lighter coat and her little black parts on her ears and um, I actually got her after my heart pig, Pip, died. So Pip passed and Piper Pip was a uh, Petco pig. So I felt like to do right by Pip, I had to get another Petco pig. So that's why I got her. I know some people will disagree with me getting a guinea pig from Petco, but I've only ever bought two guinea pigs from Petco. The rest are all um, rescues or adopted. And I really love Olive and I think she's super sweet. Alrighty then, let me go get the next girl. Okay guys, so here is my next guinea pig. This is Charlie. I got her in February of 2020, but she is estimated to be four to five years old. She is an Abyssinian, as you can see, and Charlie, if I'm not lying, is probably one of my favorites. She is just the sweetest thing, and but she's got some sass to her. Charlie is a little old lady, but don't let that fool you. She puts the other girls in their place. Are you licking me? Thank you. Um, fun fact, Charlie was a very unplanned guinea pig. One night I was sitting in my bedroom and a friend of mine texted me and said, do you want another guinea pig? And I was like, what do you mean? And he had previously given me his rabbit, Nina. Nina sadly passed. Uh, but he was like, my friend is moving and needs to get rid of her guinea pig. And I said, well, have her text me. If it's a female, I can take it and keep it. If it's a male, I can foster it. Um, and then I was up till 2 in the morning that night waiting for this guinea pig to arrive. And she arrived in a little cardboard box. Her owners loved her a lot. They did not really take care of her that well. Um, but they did love her. And um, this is, this is something very strange. But as they were handing her to me, they go, oh, there's a scab on her nose because a rat bit her. And it was two in the morning, so I wasn't gonna ask any questions. So I just took her inside and said, okay, have a good night. <laughs> and a year later, I think, yeah, it's been a, almost a year now. Um, it's been going swell, you know, she's been great. She's been a great little pig, a very great pig, but it was just a very odd interaction very odd but I'm still in contact with her owners and they love her and miss her a lot and um, I'm very grateful to have this little pig in my life because she is super sweet okay so I have the next girl this is daffodil I've had daffodil since May of 2020 she is estimated to be about two or three years old I adopted her from a local rescue with her brother Bellamy but sadly Bellamy did pass away um, Daffy does have a little scab on her nose right now, so please excuse that. Daffy is quite the drama queen. She is very shy, which is okay, I let her be shy, but she's very sassy too, like with the other pigs. She just is kind of a queen, but a quiet queen, 
you know? Does that make sense? Uh, she doesn't really like being held, and again, that's okay. Um, she clearly is like already sick and tired of me, which is fine. I respect that. But yeah, this is my little Daffy. Um, I believe she came from like a hoarding situation. I think like 80 or so guinea pigs came out of a, si a situation. It might have been a hoarding situation, and her and Bellamy came from that. So yeah, that's my daffodil or my daffy. I'm gonna go put her back though because like I said, she kinda doesn't like being held. She just likes hanging out with the other pigs. She doesn't really care about me that much. Okay guys, so the next little girl I have is Coraline. Coraline I've had since March of 2020, but I believe her birthday is March of 2019. So I think she's about to at this point. Um, she is very shy. Basically how I ended up with her is one of my closer friends, at least like growing up one of my close friends, uh, she had guinea pigs. And then she got Coraline and her sister, and she kinda just got caught up in the typical cycle of guinea pigs where one dies, so you have to get another one to be like its companion, and then the other one dies, then you have to get a new one <laughs> to be the other companion. And she basically just didn't want to own guinea pigs anymore. And I always told her, like, if you ever plan on rehoming them, just contact me. I can definitely take them. And so one day she was like, can you take them? And I said, yep. And um, she gave me Coraline and Ebony. And um, Coraline was healthy. Ebony came with me with an upper respiratory infection and sadly didn't make it. She couldn't recover from it. So it was pretty upsetting. Um, but since then, Coraline's been a very good um, addition to the herd. She's very funny. She's super shy. I don't think she was ever really socialized. Um, she's very shy. I've never had a pig as shy as her out of like all of my shy pigs. She's like crazy shy. She loves popcorning. Whenever she popcorns, it's so funny and she's just very like jumpy and just enjoys like playing with the other pigs and she, she is definitely a very good addition to the group. Um, but yeah, that's her. Definitely very beautiful. I think she's gorgeous, personally. Um, she's just a very pretty Abyssinian. So yeah, that's Coraline. Alrighty then, so the last and final guinea pig is Hazel May, and this is she. You should have already seen that quick little video introducing her. She is a crazy pig. She has the biggest personality. Getting her out of the cage just now was such a fiasco because she's so just wild she has so much energy but this is her I think she's super cute she reminds me a lot of my past she reminds me a lot of my past guinea pig pip but this is she this is the infamous Hazel May who is caught to my shirt so yeah that's her okay guys so now I'm moving on to the rabbits this is Finn you guys probably know Finn's story but before I get into that I have owned rabbits since August of 2019, I believe. My first rabbit's name was Mina. She sadly passed only six months after owning her. She was a five-year-old Netherland dwarf. She was the sweetest thing in the world. But anyways, let's get into it. This is Finnick. Finn is my estimated to be at least one year old neutered male who I have had since November of 2019. And as you guys know, he came from quite a sad situation where basically he was kept in a chicken coop with a whole bunch of other rabbits, um, never socialized, and then he was stuffed into a tiny hutch with about 10 other rabbits where he got a pretty bad bite wound that he luckily healed from, and then he ended up with me in a very sad, tragic situation where basically the owner just said, sure, you can have this one, and I went home with a rabbit that day, and I cried the whole way home because I was so sad <laughs> about all of the rabbits. But anyways, you can watch that video. I'll try to link it somewhere. This is Finn. Um, he's very shy. He is a very active bun, though. He requires a lot of enrichment and attention and all sorts of toys because he is just so active and that makes me so happy. Um, and he loves his girlfriend, Annie, um, who you guys will meet in a moment. But this is Finn. He's very shy, though. I can't really touch him or pet him, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I personally don't mind not being able to pet my animals because I'm just here to give them a good home. But yeah, this is Finn. I'm gonna go put him down though because he is pretty scared. Alrighty then everybody, so this is my second rabbit. This is Annie. Annie is a spade female and she is a lion head. She has beautiful red eyes. Show you. 
<laughs> she does not look good for pictures. Like, I, people are always like, oh my god, take a picture with her, she's beautiful. And then I do, and she just looks like a giant fluff in my arms, so it doesn't really work. But this is her. I've had Annie since February of 2020, I believe. Um, and she's also at least one. I got her after Nina passed to be a companion for Finn. Her and Finn get along beautifully. She's a very sweet bun. She can be dominant, though, over her territory and her space. And she can be quite the sass butt, but she's very sweet and I really like her. Um, she's definitely a very good bun to have in the household. Um, her fur is crazy though, as you can tell. And I just cut her nails for her and she did not enjoy that at all. Um, but I really like Miss Annie and I think she's a fantastic companion for Finn, like I said. So yeah. Fun fact, I was told she was an Angora. She's not an Angora. Nope. She came from a, a creepy Craigslist ad. I was like, oh yeah, I'll take her, sure. And then we showed up and it was like a, literally like a murder house. And we were like, oh shit, we're gonna get killed. We didn't, we just went home with Annie, who also did not kill us. <laughs> so yeah, Finnick and Annie, named after the two Hunger Games characters. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to my leopard geckos. And I have three total. I have had leopard geckos since 2019. And uh, this is my first one. This is Augie. Augie is my Max Snow Leopard Gecko. Yes, I did get him from a breeder at a reptile expo, and he is my baby boy. He's two years old, and he is looking beautiful. He's kind of in shed, so that is why he has some shed on his toes. Um, but he's his colors are very bright today, and he just has these beautiful yellows and purples, as you can tell. Um, but that is Augie. I really love Augie. He definitely means the world to me. Um, he's a very sweet gecko, although he is very very food motivated. He has developed a habit for associating my fingers with food, even though I feed him in a bowl now. To prevent that, he still associates my fingers with food. So that is Augustus, my little man, and my only boy. And I really like him. I think he's a sweet little addition to the family. What? This is Livia. I guess you would consider her a Murphy pattern list, but she uh, is just a pet store gecko that I rescued. Uh, basically, a pet store was just like, hey, we have this gecko that I know you were interested in. Do you want her? And I said, yeah. And they gave her to me because she had metabolic bone disease. So she does have MBD. That's why her limbs are a little messed up looking and she has stuck shed. Um, I always try to go super slow with getting stuck shed off of her because it stresses her out big time. And she just gets highly stressed from that. Uh, she is likely two, although I think she's probably closer to three because I got her as a full-grown gecko. Um, so she's likely closer to three years of age. I got her in August of 2019. So a few months after I got Augie. But yeah, that's Livia. She is um, a gecko. <laughs> I mean, she's a pretty typical gecko. Her MBD makes her a little bit special needs though. And it's a little bit of a struggle sometimes because, again, she just gets so stressed out for me trying to get stuck shed off of her and she cannot get the stuck shed off of her toes. So we'll need to work on that tonight because I'm going to give you a break after this. So yeah, that's Livia. Okay guys, so this is my last Leo. This is Octavia. Sorry, I'm letting her do her own thing. She's very bitey. Um, she's always been that way ever since she was little. She was very bitey with my cousin, which brings me into how I got her. Okay, sorry, I had to adjust the camera a little bit. My uh, phone started to die, so I had to plug it in and rearrange a little bit. So let me start from the beginning. Octavia was bought from Petco by my cousin in 2019. I got Octavia in April of 2020. So since then, she has been with me, and she has been upgraded to a 40 gallon. She is a pet store gecko, so I don't know her morph, but I think she's pretty. She's kind of like a muted orange with a purple tail. But like I said, she can be pretty aggressive and stuff, and um, pretty bitey. So that's Octavia, because I'm going to go put her back and let her relax now. So that is her. Just going to put this out there, I am surprised I was even able to handle Octavia just now, because I have tried to handle her a few times, and every single time I try, she like bites me. <laughs> she goes after my hand. <laughs> I think it's again because she associates it with food, but she is definitely a biter, that little gecko. <laughs> she packs a punch, man. <laughs> this is Mavis, my one-year-old Syrian hamster, and she's a little stressed out right now, so I'm going to go put her back. I just got her out real quick for this video, and I'm going to make it as quick as possible. 
So yes, that was Miss Maven. Maybe this is a very vocal hamster. Um, that's just, I've never had a hamster be as vocal as her. Like, if she's mad, she will let you know she's mad. She like, she makes these sounds and then she makes these like little chirping sounds at night, which are like a sign of like happiness from what I like gathered. Um, but she's very healthy, very happy. She lives in an, she lives in an, I, she lives in an Ikea Detolf. I can't say that sentence. And I want to really redo it soon and get her a ton of new toys. So that's Miss Mavis. I love her. She's one. And she's a very fun little hamster to have. Okay, guys. So the next two creatures I'm introducing you guys to are my betta fish. I've owned betta since 2020. Today is actually July 3rd when I'm filming this. And it is actually my two betas one year birthday. Uh, I have two male betas. They live in two separate 10 gallon tanks. And this one holds Jasper. I don't know what like fin type Jasper is, uh, but he's a beautiful yellow guy. Uh, he's a betta fish, simple as that. Uh, I really enjoy my betas though. I don't know if I plan on owning any more in the future, but he's a cool little dude. And I'm really happy to have owned him. They are both named after Jasper and Monty from the 100, in case you are curious. So guys, now I'm going to introduce you guys to Monty. Monty is a veil tail. He lives in a 10 gallon tank. As you can see, he is making a bubble nest. I really need to redo my tanks. I don't like how they look. So I might skip the whole plant idea and maybe go with something else in the future because I can't do plants. He's a very big beta. Like, he is a big boy. Compared to the two, I've like the th out of the three I've owned, he's like huge. He's definitely very feisty. Whenever I had them in a uh, 15 gallon divided tank, he like was super aggressive and always flaring. So I'm definitely glad I switched them to 10 gallons and because, because one, they get more space and two, because then they're not under constant stress from each other. So there's that. Those are my betas. I know, super exciting, right? Uh, I do apologize that they're kind of hard to see, but we gotta keep this, this video going, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so for some details about my cats, all of them are spayed and neutered, and all of them are strays that basically showed up or we got who were strays, basically. So that's how we ended up with six cats, and I know it's quite a bit, but I love them all deeply, and I plan on doing future videos about them. I did recently do a video more in depth about each of them, so if you wanna go check that out, you can. If you wanna know anything more about them, let me know. But yeah, we're gonna be hopping around a little bit for the rest of the video because it's kind of hard to hold some of them and my dog can't come into my room. So we're gonna be hopping around a little bit. So let's go. Okay guys, so next I have my cat, Sam. This is Sammy, this is my baby boy, this is my baby. Mwah. So this is Sam. <laughs> Sam is a three to four year old male neutered and he, it's my baby. <laughs> so in case you guys don't know, he did have a brother named Dean. Dean sadly did run away about a year ago. But just so you know, we did have a Sam and Dean. Uh, Sammy boy here is a very shy guy. He likes sticking to himself, um, but he definitely is a cuddle bug when he wants to be. And I'm kind of starting to get him warmed up to hanging out with me more. And he's definitely been enjoying that. Problem is, is Yaskier, who you'll meet shortly, gets jealous really easily of Sam. So we oftentimes have some uh, affection issues. <laughs> but Sam does like this chirp thing when he meows. And he's just very quiet and laid back. And I love that about him. He's a very sweet boy. Um, but yeah, that's my Sammy. Okay, guys. So I'm going to introduce you guys to Matt. And that is Mr. Yeskier, this is Yeskier. Yeskier is a estimated three to four year old neutered male. He's very big and very lovable. Uh, I've had Yask since January of 2020. Him and four other cats were dumped on my porch. So that's super exciting. <laughs> we were able to find homes for two of them and I still have two of the four. So you'll be meeting his sister next. So that's him. He's very cuddly, very loving. Um, He's definitely my cat at this point. He's always up my butt, wanting things and wanting love and attention. And he needs to lose weight, so that's something we're working on, huh? He's very overdramatic. He's quite a baby, but I love him. This is Amelia, Amelia Cirilla. This is she. She is quite overdramatic, a lot more overdramatic than her brother, <laughs> as you can tell by the look on her face. She is also estimated to be three to four years old. She's a spayed female. She 
is a jerk. I'll be honest. She goes a lot of she causes a lot of drama in the family and does not really like other female cats that much. <laughs> um, and she also likes to get into it, she loves to get into trouble. Loves it. She's constantly causing problems in the family. <laughs> but this is Amelia. Guys, so this is Baby Cat, aka Cassie. Cassie is a cat that showed up at our house back in 2019. And she's very shy, that's why I'm not holding her, petting her. We're warming her up to being handled and stuff. She's always been very shy ever since she was a kitten. But she's getting better, she's getting better, and I'm proud of her. She really likes the laser. She's a very sweet cat. Oh, big yawns. This is Bud, we got her as a kitten. That was like a feral kitten, basically. And she is a drama queen, and we call her the gray menace in our household because she makes everything more difficult. Woo, go bud! So yeah, Mwah. now let's move on to the next cat. So this is the next cat. This is Skeekers or Squeaks or Bobtail Cat, whatever you wanna call her. She is a calico with a bobtail and she's a spade female. She doesn't like me that much. Um, she's very overdramatic as you can tell. She's at least like 10 years old. Our neighbors basically left her at their house when they moved and it took us like five years to get her to the point where we could handle her and stuff but she's very sweet now she's a little old lady living her best life and she actually is scheduled to have a dental done August 11th so that's exciting so that is little Miss Skeeks okay guys so I know we're moving around quite a bit but I'm introducing you guys to the final animal this is my dog Memphis sorry about the background noise he is a very sweet old man who I love. He is at least 10 year old. He is at least 10 years old and we adopted him from a rescue. Uh, he's a beagle mix and he is a dork. He loves his and he just is very sweet and lazy and I love him and he's a cuddle bug. But he sadly does have a prey drive so I can't like have him hang out in my room ever because he will kill my rabbits. So love that. Okay, Memphis is done for the day. That's Memphis. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy meeting him. <laughs> okay guys, so that is where I'm gonna end the video. I hope you guys did enjoy meeting my family of animals, and I hope it was fun for you to watch and enjoyable. If you have any questions, comment them down below, and I hope you guys enjoy meeting everybody. Anyways guys, like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. If you didn't, then goodbye.